What if we were to tell you that the ever so hated broccoli, your delicious bar of chocolate and that can of tomatoes waiting to be poured into the pasta share a secret ingredient? Nah, it ain't the minerals or healthy fats or the fancy antioxidants that would rejuvenate your skin. Hold your breath, it's bugs. Yup, that's right. The very same creepy crawlies you try to keep out of your house. We know the grossness of this proven fact is unfathomable. Hate us as much as you want, but bugs are at least tiny bits of the bugs are in most of our foods. But hold on, there is absolutely nothing unhealthy or unsafe about it. What? Yes! Bugs have been in our food forever, and we are getting to know about it now. Reality as much as a bummer. Um, we can feel the vegans and vegetarians shifting in their chairs. May we suggest reconsidering eating veggies? Because no matter what you say, the fact of the matter is that you are consuming about one to two pounds, if not less, of cockroaches, flies, maggots, and other creepy crawlies in your food. The canned goods and your so-called fresh produce are full of bugs. Everything from broccoli and spinach to canned tomatoes contains heads, legs, thoraxes, or an entire insect. Broccoli can contain insect fragments and even whole insects. In chocolates, you will find up to 35 ounces of insect parts in up to 352.7 ounces of chocolate. Do you still have those cans of tomatoes and mushrooms up on the shelf? Yeah, in about a 3.5 ounce can of mushrooms, there are up to 19 maggots and 74 mites. And in 100 grams of tomato sauce, you have up to 15 fruit fly eggs. Oh, calm down. The FDA very much approves these secret ingredients. And yes, it is absolutely safe. While you are watching this video while chomping down that chocolate bar, fun fact time, you ready? The FDA has a handbook for levels of natural and unavoidable defects in foods that present no health hazard to humans. Almost everything available out there for human consumption, be it health foods, junk, snacks, or drinks, includes certain ounces of bugs that are deemed okay by the FDA. Yeah, that's right. Let's look at some more shocking facts that will bug you. Did you know that up to 5% of the hops in each batch of beer are bugs? Up to 2,500 aphids are allowed in every 10 grams of hops. Eating 100 pounds of bread would mean consuming up to 1.5 pounds of bugs. Pasta may contain an average of 225 insect fragments, while the fig paste is allowed to have up to 13 insect heads in 100 grams. A cup of raisins can have up to 33 fruit fly eggs. While spinach can have up to 50 aphids, thrips or mites per 100 grams, more than 40 thrips are allowed in 100 grams of asparagus. One maggot is allowed in every 250 milliliters of fruit. Also, that slice of red velvet you love so much contains carmine, a vibrant red food colorant that is made from the crushed abdomens of female, beetle-like African insects. For centuries, people have consumed bugs, everything from locusts to beetles, termites, caterpillars, and dragonflies. This even has a name, entomophagy. Almost 2,000 species of insects are consumed across Asia, Africa, Mexico, and South America. This includes 235 species of butterflies and moths, 344 beetles, 313 ants, bees and wasps, 239 grasshoppers, crickets and cockroaches, 39 termites, and 20 dragonflies, as well as cicadas. Somebody call the exterminator. Relax. There are underlying benefits to consuming the bugs we keep running away from. Firstly, insects are a more sustainable source of protein for the growing population, as opposed to the more widely accepted protein sources. Secondly, insects are also a great source of energy-rich fat, fiber, vitamins, and minerals. Thirdly, the risk of disease or a virus like swine flu is reduced since insects are genetically different from humans. Fourthly, the environmental impact of farming insects for food is far lower than livestock farming since they produce fewer greenhouse gases and require 95% less water. Lastly, 80% of a cricket's body is edible as opposed to just 40% of a cow's and 50% of a chicken's body. So does this mean that bugs are the best way to fulfill the nutrient requirement of humans? The demand for meat-based protein is also rising. If everyone starts eating as much meat as Americans do, 
that would require more land area than even exists on the planet. Come to think of it, you could be making a smart choice by adding some of these insects to your diet. What do you think? If you like this video, subscribe and punch that bell icon so you don't miss out on our latest videos. Until next time, enjoy your buglicious meals.